Alright. How are we doing, everybody? Today's solo journey is going to be a little bit different to uh, previous episodes. I've hopped on to a weekly server a couple days into the white. It's currently Sunday, and it's the last week of like the weekly wipes until blueprint wipe. So my plan is to try and find a group that I can mess with. You know, get a get a relatively quick start given that it's already a few days in into a weekly. What's up, brother? The server's pretty busy. It's like a 90, like almost full pop. So we should be shouldn't be too hard to find. Interesting. Shouldn't be too hard to find a base. I'm gonna whack a bag down here. Yeah, we can get into that easy. Just need a ladder. See, I'm probably gonna need a few like basic blueprints to get started. So we'll do a, a quick farm on the road. I mean, so far that compound is uh, is winning. Is exactly what I needed. <laughs> nope. So ladder is going to be the the tricky blueprint to get because it's pretty expensive to learn on Tech Tree, I think. Like almost 400 scrap. Oh, need some bags down out here. Oh, this is so exciting. My favorite way to play Rust. This Hazzy was so clutch. <laughs> So we go outpost uh, by like a DB. Let's go find this ladder. It's gonna make life a lot easier. Holy shit. I don't know what that guy was listening to. Ah, it's so close. Outpost. Alright. Actually so close. Is that enough to learn ladder? I think ladder's more important than DB to be honest. Let's have a look here. 75, 150, 170, 390. Ah, okay. Uh, I worked out that from scratch, I needed 390 scrap to tech tree down to ladder. This would be an essential item to quickly get over compound walls. And with the scrap I'd already gathered, I was almost there. So I hit a few more barrels and got the ladder blueprint in the books. The plan after this would be to set up a little shit shack where I could store my stolen goods. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, ladder acquired.
Okay, just over this road. I'll whack down a little base. Even got enough for a little sleeping bag. Nice. And we called it home. Can't wait until you can ride horses on console. It helps solos so much being able to like jump into compounds and stuff. You can just walk through that? Oh man, you can just walk through. Dirty high wall. Okay, gotta get out. Dumb dogs. Like, when do you ever need to cook high quality in a large furnace like that? <laughs> uh, yep. Victim, victim number one in the books. I might go and uh, destroy the evidence real quick. Well, I'm pretty happy with that little hole. A little start. One ladder. One ladder leads to 130 high quality. Alright, I need some coffee. And then we'll uh, come out and... Maybe, like, when those guys are back online, we might try and go deep on them. Like, from the roof. We might even go check out that base. Down in the desert. So after a promising start to this venture, I needed a coffee break. And about half an hour later, I logged back in. Alright, let's go for a run. See what else is happening around this area. And then we'll go check out the uh, desert area. The desert base. Hey, what's up, brother?
Let's go to his roof. Hmm. Alright, we'll take over one more ladder. And the bow, and just see if we can get lucky. Like all their doors are open. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Holy shit. What the f dude, this guy's a god. Dude, I should have raided them. Fuck. They <laughs> should have kept raiding down. What are you doing? happening hurry up where did that go this game's broken
I can't believe the satchel fucked it, man. I can't believe that. What? Like, what is that, dude? I'd return home with some outrageous loot after only taking over a bow and a ladder. But I was kicking myself. First of all, not checking these lockers in the heat of the moment meant that I missed out on at least an MP5. And this satchel glitching onto the dropped item on the floor meant I missed any further opportunities of going deep. So after that, I ran straight home. No, I mean straight home. Like, so directly home that these guys followed me. Well played, halves. I left the Tommy on me, Jesus. No, I lost it all so fast. <laughs> uh, uh, the rise and fall, eh? I just need to upgrade that ceiling, man. Otherwise I'm gonna get raided. Holy shit, AK, okay, what? One round left. What the f dude is AK with like right helmet? What do you mean? Yeah, that guy's a bowler. That guy's a fucking bowler. I respect that man. Using an AK against like DB grubs. Man, what have I started? What did I start? <laughs> so dumb. Ah oh, man, I like when you go deep on a base like that. I just stress out. I don't know what to do. I should have grabbed the satchels and gone down into the base. But I mean, they were in there. Like I guess, but it would have been better than what I ended up doing, which is just missing missing a door. Right, let's just go for a run. We'll run it down to the desert. Might take the ladder with me. Oh, they got turrets everywhere, dude. Each of those squares have a turret in them. Although, if we go directly behind this one. Nothing to see here. <laughs> he didn't see me. Oh, there's one right there. Are you kidding me? Fuck, I didn't see that. Mm, I'm not sure this one's doable. Well played. Well played. see what's going on in the outskirts of the map. It's a pretty chunky looking base. I like it. Or refinery. Let's 
try this again. Oh, flawless. <laughs> that was flawless. That one's out. Ooh, some goodies. Oh, what the f***? That was such a... That's a hard angle. GG. Fuck. Opportunity missed. Yeah, auto tire span, it's insane. I think they cost like 10 high quality and then a laptop and a CCTV camera. That's way, that's so too cheap. And how good they are, it's crazy. All right, I think we got one more, like, we got time for one more base. We'll find one more base to see if we can uh, do something cheeky with. All right, this is the large oil crew. I probably should have come here first, to be honest. Uh, it's like they're raided? Yeah. It's the one. That is the one. This base I'd found on the coast had a large furnace running. So I spawned back at base, grabbed some wood, and headed straight back over. Hmm. Not sure we can get in here. actually too easy. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a good little hole. That's a good little hole. All right, let's get this home. And then, uh, I don't know what we're going to do with all that goodies, to be honest. This is way faster than actually farming. All you need is to give the server a couple days for people to get their compounds down and then just have an absolute field day. Sorry buddy. I feel bad. Uh, dude. Damn, that's a pretty good run. That's a pretty good little run. We had a few guns that we ended up losing, but... <laughs> in terms of just general shit, not bad. After that, unfortunately I couldn't play much longer on this server, so I decided to take all my goodies over to Bandit Camp, where I could recycle them and trade for as much scrap as possible. 
750 scrap. Then I headed over to Outpost to find a lucky naked to give it all away to. doing some researching on the tech tree warms my heart man and that pretty much wrapped up this short solo adventure goes to show that you don't necessarily need heaps of time to have an enjoyable experience playing rust as a solo i hope you guys really enjoyed the video i've also started editing a brand new solo fresh white and i'm looking forward to sharing that with you sometime real soon take it easy guys